Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FPL Now, your number one source for tips, tricks and everything you need to know for Fantasy Premier League Football. Today we're going to be going over my final thoughts ahead of Game Week 13, who to captain, late transfers, all that good stuff. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment what's your team looking like before the Game Week 13 deadline, subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. So, starting things off, this is what my team is looking like ahead of game week 13. I have not made a transfer this week. Rafinha is back. He's okay. He had an illness, but he's okay now. He was pictured in training. Bielsa said that he's absolutely fine. So, I actually have no injury concerns for once. Like, I actually can save my transfer, which is going to be very useful because I have a transfer plan over the next two game weeks, which will only go ahead as long as my team do not get injured. Um, but yeah, this is how my team is setting up. So I have Sanchez in goal at home to Leeds, which isn't great because I have Rafinha playing Brighton. So I hate that. I hate playing a defender or a goalkeeper against an attacker, but it is what it is. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Hopefully Sanchez gets a penalty save or something. Although I actually don't know who's going to be on pens whilst uh, Bamford is out. Um, but anyway... Sanchez in goal. He is back now, so that's all good. Uh, at the back three are Trent, who is at home to Southampton, expecting big points there. Rudiger at home to United. I'm not sure how that Chelsea-United game is going to go. I'm expecting Chelsea to win like 3-0, but I mean, anything could happen. And then we have Semedo away at Norwich. So, so far, so good. Like, I've actually got some decent fixtures coming up. Like, as long as United don't do anything crazy, then hopefully Rudiger gets a clean sheet. But at the same time, loads of people now have more than one Chelsea defender. So, I guess it's bad if United don't score. So, I actually hope that they do. Uh, but then Trent at home to Southampton and Semedo away at Norwich. Hopefully, uh, some nice points there. And maybe Sanchez keeps a clean sheet or makes a lot of saves, something like that. Um, but hopefully expecting a few decent points from the, the back line there. Uh, in midfield, I have Mbumo at home to Everton. Maybe this could be the week he finally returns and doesn't hit the post or gets an offside goal. We can only hope. Uh, I've got Rafinha away at Brighton. Again, like I said, hate playing an attacker against the defender, but I just can't do anything about it this week. I could get Rafinha, uh, rid of Rafinha and bring in Gallagher or someone like that, but it kind of just hurts my transfer plans down the line uh salah captain i mean ca as captaincy choices go are you really going to captain anyone but salah this week he's at home to southampton like if you're going to captain him against united or arsenal you're going to captain him against southampton at home so yeah the whole captaincy choice thing i mean i will go over some other choices at the end but at the same time like are you really going to go any uh, for anyone else apart from salah uh, and then i've got sun away at burnley I mean, how shocking were Tottenham last night? Jesus, man. I mean, I cannot believe they lost 2-1. I mean, they could literally be out of the Europa Conference League. Uh, I think if a certain team wins, I can't remember the name, but if they win the next game, I think they're out, which is kind of mad, to be fair. Um, but Sun obviously didn't feature last night, um, so he'll be fine for Burnley away. Kane did. Kane played the like pretty much the full game. Um, so, yeah, don't know why he played Kane and not Sun, but kind of happy about it because that means Sun has had a rest. He's raring to go away at Burnley. Hopefully he can get a return, but this is probably the last week I'm going to be keeping Sun. Um, so I brought him in. Hasn't really paid off unless he gets some points uh, the weekend. But yeah, he's probably going to be going out of my team regardless. And then up front, I have Jimenez away at Norwich. I have Vardy at home to Watford. And then I have Antonio away at Man City. The Man City fixture for Antonio is the only fixture that this week I'm really like, okay, I'm definitely not going to get any points from that game. Uh, I mean, he didn't play in the Europa League last night, which is good. It's, he's rested for City, but you never know. I mean, Crystal Palace did City. You never know. Maybe West Ham can. Fingers crossed. But I know a lot of people are getting rid of Antonio this week, and a lot of people are benching him. So if he does somehow pop off and gets a goal or two, somehow... Uh, it would be fantastic because I own no Man City players. So that would be Cancelo, clean sheet gone, all that good stuff. And it would be a goal for Antonio. I know I'm living in dream world right now, expecting that to happen. But I, I mean, I need a little bit of luck. I need a little bit of luck. But I mean, I could make a transfer this week, but I, I really don't think I need to. And then my, bin, uh, my bench is just steel in goal. Uh, Sissoko away at Leicester. Williams uh, home to Wolves. And then Liveramento away at Liverpool. I'll probably put Liveramento at the front of my team. Uh, well, I'll probably put him in front of Williams, to be fair. Um, because I'm expecting Wolves to dominate um, Norwich. But that is my Game Week 13 team. Uh, that's what it's looking like right now. Like I say, I've made no transfers. I've got no money in the bank. 
uh, if I even wanted to make a transfer, I'd have to downgrade someone. Um, but let's go on to captaincy choices and then any late transfers that I could make or my future transfer plans. So with captaincy choices, I mean, your best bet this week, as I've already said, is Mo Salah. I don't understand why you would go for anybody different. Like you've got Cancelo, who could be a potential captain choice. He's playing West Ham. Uh, Reese James, a potential captain choice. He's playing uh, Man United. Um, like they're not got the best fixtures ever like yeah they should win those games but will they be tight games will they just be like one nils or two ones or something like that you don't really know um so all the big boys that have been scoring points every single week you don't really captain those this week so i think southampton at home is just a standout fixture salah arguably the best player in the world right now he keeps scoring he scored in the champions league he scored last weekend he just constantly scores he's not not he's not not got an attacking re return since like game week three or something like that so yeah salah is just the standout captain for me this week if you did want to uh differentiate yourself uh differentiate yourself away from the pack uh, you could go for the likes of sun or kane i know it's a bit risky burnley away after the performance they just had conte himself came out and said yeah there's massive problems here at spurs it's going to need a not a, a lot of um tinkering in order to sort this team out so you could go with Son or Kane, but I mean, I, I just stay, I just stay away from him at the moment. Like if, if I didn't have Son right now, I would not be bringing him in after the performance that I saw last night from Tottenham. They just do not look like a squad that are capable of winning games by a lot at this point, uh, at this moment in time. It's nice they have a like a good run of fixtures, but even that I don't think will save them. Uh, another captaincy choice is Vardy. I know he's not really popped off recently. Um, a lot of people brought him in, and since then he's just had like two points, one point. He's not had a return. But I think Watford at home is a very, very nice fixture. Uh, Leicester did win in the Europa League um, last night. And as well as that, Watford have not kept a clean sheet all season. Vardy didn't play in the Europa League. He was on the bench, so he'll be rested. I think that Vardy is finally going to turn uh, this bad luck streak around at home to Watford, which is why I don't understand why so many people got rid of him. Um, so he is a decent captaincy choice, in my opinion. And if you don't have it, and if you're not going to captain him and you've got him in your team, don't sell him. I think he's going to pop off against Watford. So yeah, I, I think you should keep him for the foreseeable future. And then the last captaincy choice could be a Jimenez. He is away at Norwich. Uh, Jimenez has been popping off every single game week. If you see his returns, um, he's been doing really, really well. Uh, eight points, two points, nine points, five points, one point. I mean, that is when he came on for like one minute. So we just disregard that. Then he got 10 points, eight points. So he's only really not got an attacking return in one game, which is the Crystal Palace game. Because um, I don't really count the Aston Villa game because he came on for a minute. Like, you're not really giving him a chance to get a return. So apart from that, he's literally got a return in every single game. And he's playing Norwich away. Um, and Wolves are playing decent football right now. They just beat West Ham, which is a really, really tricky fixture. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, big things for Jimenez this week. If you have Huang, I probably wouldn't go for Huang because Jimenez is on penalties. So you've always got that in the back as well, just in case you need it. Um, but yeah, they are the captaincy choices that I think are okay this week. But again, I wouldn't go for anyone uh, apart from Mo Salah. But if you are thinking a bit outside the box, you know, you, you got a set of bollocks on you, then yeah, just go for uh, go for someone else mentioned. Uh, but thinking about future transfers, um, I'm not going to make one this week. Again, I could... I could downgrade uh, Rafinha to Gallagher if I really wanted to, but Rafinha has some nice fixtures coming up over the next two. Like, he's got Brighton, then he's got Crystal Palace and Brentford. Uh, they're both at home. Like, I'd probably keep him for those fixtures, and I'm hoping Bamford will be back as well, uh, which will help uh, Leeds in scoring goals and stuff. Like, uh, Rafinha hopefully getting a few more assists if uh, Bamford is on the end of them. Um, so that's kind of nice. So I'll keep him for those fixtures. I do want to get Gallagher eventually, um, but there's, not, there's just not really any reason to get rid of Rafinha as of right now. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'll be making a transfer getting Rafinha out this week. Something that I'm going to be doing next week, though, I do believe is getting rid of Son and bringing in Jota, uh, which will give me a lot of money in the bank uh, because Jota is, is fit now. He's okay as long as he doesn't have an injury this week, of course, uh, at home to Southampton. I mean, I would love to have Jota this week at Southampton. I could make the, the transfer of Son to Jota this week, but the, I just don't think there's a point um, because Son has a nice fixture. And, you know, Tottenham on the day, they, they could do something. I mean, it is only Burnley. It's not crazy. Uh, even though Jota, I think, will score against Southampton, I don't think there's really any need to get rid of um, Son uh, this week. But next week, I'll obviously have two free transfers. So I'll be getting rid of Son next week for Jota. And then I'll also be getting rid of Williams for James, which will give me uh, 0.5 mil in the bank. 
and then I will also have James ready for Watford. So my team next week, I could do a 4-4-2 if I really wanted to. I could do uh, Rudiger, Trent, James, and Semedo because Semedo still has a nice fixture, uh, which is uh, Burnley at home, which isn't you know terrible. So I could keep Semedo for another week if I really wanted to. Um, so yeah, next week I'll be getting rid of um, Son and Williams, and I'll be bringing in Rudiger, Trent, and James. I'm trying to move into a 4-4-2 formation. Um, because the week after that, I will also be getting rid of Jimenez um, because I'll have Jimenez for Norwich this week and then Burnley next week and then he'll have Liverpool City. So I'll be getting rid of Jimenez around then. Um, so what I'm going to do is get rid of Jimenez there, bring in a 4.4 mil striker. So probably this Brighton strike here, which will give me um, an extra 3.7 mil in the bank. And then what I'm going to do then is just get rid of Semedo again ahead of this horrible fixture run that Wolves have. And then I'm just going to bring in Cancelo, um, which will also give me two mil in the bank if I do want to change anything at all. And then my team will literally just be Rudiger, Trent, James, Cancelo, and Bumo, Rafinha, Salah, Jota, and then it will be Vardy and Antonio. And it will be a 4-4-2 formation. And then after that, I'm going to start doing the tinkering because um, the week after that is obviously game week 16, which is where uh, Rafinha's fixtures go terrible. So I could easily get rid of him and bring in Gallagher, which would give me even more money in the bank. And then if I do have to make any sudden light change, or anything i've got a lot of money in the bank but i actually really like the look of this team eventually i'll get rid of mbumo as well maybe for smith row uh which will cost a little bit of money but at the, at the end of the day this is kind of like what i want my team to look like over the christmas period um and i have an okay bench as well like people that will come in in case james or cancelo gets benched in the likes of libramento and sissoko again i could use that 2.3 mil to upgrade um this brighton striker which would give me 6.7 i could just bring in tony if nothing happens by then uh, like there's no price rises or anything but yeah that's the kind of team that i'm gonna be going into the um into the international break with so i do quite like it uh i think 442 is just kind of the vibe this year uh and then if you know if anything happens to antonio he gets injured over the international break uh, international break over the christmas period then i just downgrade or upgrade to a different striker like i do have an extra 2.3 mil in the bank so i could just bring another uh, decent striker in like jesus or someone like that if i really wanted to but yeah that's just gonna be my um transfers going down the line but um yeah that's everything for my game week 13 final thoughts hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like down below leave a comment subscribe if you're brand new that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time 